but it went along, went along so very well, and it was, it was a very, I think it was considered a very small circle and not in depth mm -hmm. radiation. So it was five days total? Five days total. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, your experience is actually rather typical of a patient who has had cancer affect their bone and then needs radiation to kill the cancer that I can't actually yes. see during the surgery, all that microscopic uh -huh. stuff. That's great, they can do that, I should say. So at, at what point, um, let's say after the operation, were you able to start moving your arm? Uh, right after the operation, that next day, I was able to move the arm, very, just very little. And then it gradually, it was, it was very gradual, uh, a little more each day, probably six weeks, six, seven, six weeks, I was felt pretty much back to normal and uh, six or seven weeks uh, back to, to what the other arm would, moved. And mm -hmm. I can show you what I do at this time. Okay. And it's, it's everything that, that I want to do and that I've done in the past. Mm -hmm. So it's almost impossible for me to tell which arm uh, mm -hmm. was actually right. affected. Mm -hmm. Certainly you've done yeah. remarkably well oh, as a you. patient uh, going through this process. Um, did, did your rehabilitation involve some therapy? Did you work with a therapist? Uh, no, I didn't. No, mm -hmm. and, and uh, no, I didn't work with a therapist. But I, I think what happens, just every day you do a little bit without realizing it, and it strengthens the arm. Mm -hmm. That, at least that's what happened to me. Mm -hmm. And now you're about seven to eight weeks out from surgery. Yeah, correct. Can you tell us just a little bit about what um, makes Helen Helen and how you have such a positive spirit about you? Oh, thank you. I, I think it's mainly, much of it comes from my family, four brothers and two sisters and parents. And I think we were teased at home if, if someone complained too much or I don't know, it, they, they came through with a positive attitude. Uh, my faith, my friends, my family, the um, modest, I think it's gratitude. I, I like the word, the word gratitude, to be grateful. The first thing in the morning, I'm grateful for the health that I have. Mm -hmm. Never mind what it'll be in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for what I have. and everything around me and the people around me and people such as yourself. I, I think it's, it's, it's just and a, the negative. I try to work on that, something that's difficult, puzzle it out, work around it so I can get the negative out of the situation. Well, I understand that a crew went out to your home and got a little glimpse of your very active life. <laughs> So why don't we just take a look at that? Ah, yes. I don't think there's anything that I can't do that I didn't do before. There isn't really with the uh, surgery and the upper arm. The first thing in the morning is uh, get ready for the day, the shower, dress. Let's do your whisker a little bit. I help with the uh, pets, grooming them and feeding them. Oh, good bow then putting certain things in order in the house, making a bed. It's not difficult, but you have to go to one side or the other. I'm grateful I can do that. Going up and down steps. I have to go downstairs for the laundry, and I can do that. Then a certain amount of cooking, a certain amount of um, preparation for coffee or tea with guests. And then after that, I think about what I'll have for lunch, which is a few vegetables or salad and entree. Then after that, uh, the dishwasher, filling that and getting some pans cleaned. Perhaps there's something around the house that should be worked on, perhaps the filing, or perhaps there's a friend or two, a card or a letter to them. I use an exerciser maybe one day a week at a low impact, and uh, I walk about 20 to 30 minutes about five days a week. I've had hip replacements, so I do have to use a cane. But a walking is, um, I don't know, you can clear your mind about a lot of things. You can make up your mind not to 
dwell on something you shouldn't be dwelling on. All of these things that I do that we take very much for granted, I'm glad I can do them because it feels better to be grateful, just to be thankful. Good shot. Yay, I did it. Well, I hope to make it out to your house someday so that we can play pool together. <laughs> right, I'd like to see that. your left hand. <laughs> uh, Good. I'd like you to share with us uh, any thoughts you might have on what um, has made you do so remarkably well? A part of it is, I, I think I've, I've, been, I've been told by my family, I've taken pretty good care of myself through the years, my health and exercise and trying to eat these right things. Mm -hmm. As I say, there's so much to be grateful for, and my faith, once again. And, and, and certainly, you know, um, you, like any other cancer patient, have had your moments of anxiety and fear. Yes. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about that and how you've, you know, dealt with those feelings? Oh, yes. Uh, at first, diagnosing the can that I had this cancer, I, as I think I said earlier, I was shocked. I said that there must be a mistake in the, in the viewing of this. Uh, stressed. And I would cry. I had sleepless, sleepless nights. And then in time, as I was told by one doctor, it will, the mind will ease up on all of this, which it did. And I think you have to help it along. You cannot, those, inner, those thoughts enter in. How long will I be around here? How long will I, will I miss all of this wonderful world? You can't do that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm so thrilled with um, your progress and how you've yeah. done through this pro process. Uh, do you have any future uh, plans? I, I know you, your life is so fruitful and you do so many interesting things for a woman who's 82 years old. 82, right. We had some wonderful short trips last year, Lake Quinault, Whistler, Victoria. Mm -hmm. That's a, those were a few of them. I think we will continue with the short trips. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing that, mm -hmm. which I feel I can do. Great. I'm so pleased. Um, is there anything that uh, you'd like to share with us that we haven't covered? I, I think possibly getting, as I say, three opinions before deciding on a medical plan or course. Mm -hmm. I think it's very good to get back to activities, no matter how minute or how uh, insignificant the activity is, to get back to it. That's very helpful, very healing, mm -hmm. and very healthy. I believe it's a gratitude attitude. Issues that are difficult, I try to puzzle them out. Mm -hmm. Negative issues, I go back to being grateful. I, I just say that that works pretty well for me. Well, I am so grateful as well to have had you sure. here today. Thank I wanted you. to thank you for being a part of this show. Today we've discussed the very inspirational case of a patient who, like so many other patients with cancer, had a lot on her plate. The treatment options available to her have given her good quality of life with rapid restoration of function. Today, Helen is back enjoying her arts and crafts and playing pool. It's patients like Helen who give me strength and inspiration in my daily practice. I'm Dr. Jason Weistein, and I'd like to thank you for watching Talk Medicine. <music>